I'm Sam from Spearsbox, and this is another one of our one take walk arounds. We've got no fancy cuts, no fancy edits, it's just me, a camera, and a sick rig. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be looking at our recently built 200 series Land Cruiser that we built for four wheel drive 24 7 trips. Uh, it's done a few. It's come back battered and bruised, but it keeps on kicking. We thought we'd come up to Redhead Beach. It's a beautiful day. We'll show you in its absolute element. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. So we'll start off at the front of this gorgeous looking thing. I'll tell you what, they really did make some changes from the old 80 series that I'm used to. Um, up the front, we've got a Rhino 4x4 alloy bar. This is a bumper replacement, perfect for mounting all our groovy accessories on. Um, you're gonna gain a heat more approach angle on this thing, which the 200s definitely need out of the box. Um, we've got the Steady Type X Pros, now we've got two down here and we've got 600 up there, and I'm kidding, we've got four on the roof as well. Um, we're running the covers on those. Uh, these are all the same lights, we've got the Rhino 4x4 light mounts as well. Before you guys ask, Big 2, do I need to explain it? Big 2, because it's a Big 200 guys. It's as simple as that. Hiding in here is the same winch as you saw in the uh, 80 series, it's the uh, Runva 11 XP Premium, 11,000 pound wireless controller, all that groovy jazz. Um, underneath this car, you can't see it. We'll see if we can get the camera down there, but we've got the full plethora of Rival 4x4 by DriveTech underbody armor. So that's six mil Russian alloy. Absolutely fantastic. Coming around here, oh, actually, let's show you the engine bay first. Another big thing that people love to ask is this. It's a um, 79 series hood scoop that we had grafted in to the um, 200 series bonnet, just to get a bit more airflow to that intercooler. Under here, it's fairly standard. We do have a second battery that's in the back of the car, but under here, it's pretty much factory other than the Moonlight Fabrication Airbox, which is an absolute must. If you know 200s and you know uh, Land Cruisers in general, they do have an issue with dust getting in through the factory airbox. So knowing full well that we were gonna be tackling some dusty climates, prevention is always the best case scenario. So we put in a Moonlight Airbox. Coming around here, in the, keeping in the theme of airflow, we've got a Safari Armac snorkel. This thing is an absolute monstrosity. Flows all the way in through that high flow airbox, which means maximum uh, boosty, bangy airflow, performance power, all the good things. Under there as well that I'll mention is we also have a uh, Torque at ECU uh, chip, which is going to squeeze a little bit more power out of this thing as well, which means this thing gets up and boogies. Obviously, these cars don't come factory with flares, so we modified some cut snake flares, put these on to cover up our 35-inch tyres. Speaking of tyres, let's jump down here. These are the Goodyear Wrangler MTRs. Uh, they've got the Kevlar sidewall. They're in a 35-inch size on an R17 uh, method rim. Um, I can't remember the offset. I have a feeling they might be zero offset, but um, they absolutely work perfectly. In here, suspension-wise, we've got the Super Pro adjustable upper control arms as well as a full Bilstein GVM lift kit upgrade. So what does that mean? Well, it's sitting at about three inches uh, using some custom-made Bilstein springs that they did for us to suit their full GVM upgrade, as well as a poly air package in the back, which is going to be a ride height adjustment airbags. Uh, it uses, utilizes the uh, Bilstein B60 shock absorbers as well, which is their 60 mil monotube hardcore shock absorbers. The same ones that we run in the 80 series, and they work absolutely amazingly. This thing is an absolute monster off-road. Coming down here, we've obviously got some sill protection that's very much needed. These are by Razzler. Um, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. We'll quickly show you inside the cockpit over here as well. Keeping with the theme of the steady lights, we've got all the steady OEM factory looking switches in the dash here. So we didn't have to cut or modify or drill any holes. We've also got a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite V3 in here as well for when we tow the big, big trailers. Over in the center console, we'll show you on the other side, we've got the Red Arc gauges, measures voltage, that kind of thing, EGTs, boost. We've also got the GME XRS Connect 370 in the car. The car's been tinted, We're running a Yakima all alloy roof rack up on the top. It's got a couple of Yakima accessories as well. We've got the recovery track holders, um, and on the other side, drive tech awnings. We're using the steady C4 flood work lights, six of these on the vehicle, all controlled from inside the car, mounted to the second battery. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, they cast a stack of light. The great thing about Steady is they have all these really cool clips. So when they're not in use, you can pop the clips on, protect them, kind of black them out so they're not super obvious. And then when you do want to use them at camp, it's as easy as popping the clip off and away you go. Coming back here, the whole vehicle was wrapped by Auto Artisan. Fantastic job. This was, uh, well, we don't like to talk about this. This was, uh, Jock, if you're watching, mate, it's only one bloke that's responsible for that, it's not me. Uh, we've got a Razzler rear bar, obviously protecting the back of a big heavy wagon like this is hard work, so a proper rear bar like this is absolutely paramount. We've got jerry cans on one swing away, we've got a tire on this one. We're running a full size spare, obviously, on the method rim again, so 35, and then we jump in here. 
And we are packed for a trip away at the moment. We're spending a couple of nights away, so don't mind the mess. We're on the Mike Orman 44 litre fridge. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Obviously utilising the Clearview Easy Slide Drop Slide. Again, it's the same as the 80 series. Brings it out, drops it down. We've got the full Drifter uh, limited edition 20 year anniversary drawers, full of all sorts of good stuff. Camp stove, sand pegs, all the good things. As you guys are aware, Drifter are notorious for their amazing slide out table as well, which makes camping absolutely amazing. And up here, we've got the Manager 30, keeping all the 12 volt things in check and in order. That makes sure all things are charged and we know exactly what's going on at all times. Coming around here, because the Razzler rear bar's got lights in it, we obviously blacked out the tail lights, give it a bit more oomph, a bit more wow factor. Again, some scratches and stuff down here. We don't like to talk about that, guys, all right? We don't, we don't want to know about it. We all know who's responsible for that. Again, it's not me. It's your friend Jocko, all right? Up here, more of the steady lights. We've got some on the back as well. And we've obviously got the DriveTech 4x4 awning as well. The same as what we run on the, two, on the uh, 80 series, sorry. Absolutely works wonders. <laughs> and something like this, I'll tell you what, after this video, I might pull it out have a little brewski because I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. But guys, that's pretty much it. Other than that, over here, you see we've got GME at 2.1 dB aerial. GME help us out, it's coupled to the XRS in the car. This is a Vogue Industries custom mount as well, just something a little bit different. Most people just mount them on the front bars or rear bars, but we wanted to do a little bit of little something something. And then the last thing in here that I mentioned before, is so obviously we've got the XRS Connect, which is a fantastic UHF, a uh, little magnetic mount. We've got the wireless side pressure monitoring up here, same as the 80 series, pioneer doubled in head unit, and down here are the two red arc gauges that I mentioned. It really is cosy home away from home, this 200. Now guys, if there's any questions I've missed, anything you want answers to, there's one thing you can do, that's comment on this video. I'll do my best to come back and answer as many of them as I can. As always, like, follow, subscribe, all our social media platforms to stay up to date with the latest and greatest content that we're pumping out weekly. Until next time guys, see you soon.